Hey guys, Julian here, and today I'm going to be showing you the much requested how to make techno like Surgeon. We're going to be focusing more on his sound with his more recent raw tracks, sort of like harder, more raw sound. And yeah, as usual, you can get the project file and samples and MIDI and presets, all of that from this video in the description. And if you're a patient on my Patreon, check there because it's already available. And yeah, let's get started. So before we start, also I want to say I'm a little sick today, so sorry for the voice cracks, guys. But yeah, first sound we got here is the kick, which sounds like this. So the way this kick is made is it's a rumble kick. What we have here is we have this punch layer. And then I have a rim shot on top of that. So the rim shot's really subtle, but I'll turn it off and then turn it on. You can kind of hear what's happening. Here is without it. And then with it. Notice how when I turn it on, it just gives it that extra little like on top of the sound to really make it punch through the mix. That's the idea with this. That's what we're trying to do. A lot of times it can be hard to just add that mixing wise to kind of like bring the transient out. But if you just layer in a rim shot and it's not super loud, you can see like it's only at minus 15. Just by doing that, you can get like a lot more of like a transient on your kick. After that, we have the rumble rack, which looks like this. So what this is, is we have a dry chain. And then we have the wet chain with the rumble. And the way that this rumble is being made is using a delay. You can see we got 16th notes going into a distortion and then the distortion. You can hear, you know, brings out the rumble and the low end in that delay. And then we just low pass it. And we have the rumble. And then I have that side chain to the dry kick as well as it's being EQ'd with this right here. You can see that just boosting the low end cutting a little bit at 100 hertz to make room for the punch and yeah and then after that we have a few things the first thing here is the saturator so you can see here it is without this and then with it so you can hear you know this is really just taking the kick and like giving it that crunch that it needs with this style of techno it's not just about getting a fat kick you need a fat kick that's gonna have that like crunchiness to it so that's what this is doing you can see yeah i just got the drive there and then i have the color on the soft sign mode and then the bass frequency up a little bit so here's without the color and then with it and you can really hear how that like gives it that extra little bit of crunch after that we have the drum mask here's without this and then with it so you can hear this just gives it that last little like push to bring out the punch of the kick and also bring out the rumble and just kind of like pull it up a bit in the track and yeah then the last thing we have on there is just an eq8 boosting the line cutting a little bit of low mid-range cutting out some mud and then it's also boosting right there just for a bit of punch that tends to be where a lot of the punch is in the kick and yeah that is it for the kick after that, we have the lead, which sounds like this. So the way this is made is, well, here are the notes, first of all. So I'll show you. It's actually a pretty simple pattern. What it is, if I fold it, as you can see, it's just actually two notes. It's just F and B. And then the main thing here is just like the rhythm, because you can see we got F across three different octaves. And then where you put the B in, the B is a very kind of like, you know, like that, that like uneasy sound with the F. So it's just about where you put the B in. And just kind of like where that fits into the groove, as you can see. For the sound on this one, it's been using operator. You can see I've just got a saw wave. And then we have two sine waves, actually, doing some FM off of that. So you can see second one is detuned a bit there. We got the chorus pitch up. We got the chorus pitch up on the third one as well. And yeah, this is just a nice way to take a saw wave like this. And just make it a little bit more interesting. You can hear when we turn these on. It just adds, like, a little bit more texture and kind of, like, interestingness to the sound. 
And yeah, then after that, we have an EQ8 just cutting out some kind of muddy frequencies. Here's without this. And then with the EQ here, it just kind of helps to even out the frequency spectrum with the sound. Then after that, we have an echo, which is doing eighth notes, as well as this reverb. These are both just giving the sound some space. Here is without both of them. Then with the echo. And then with the reverb. So you can hear how both of those together really like combine to give this some space versus just having one thing. Then after that, we have some drum bus to fatten the sound up. Then I have an auto pan, which is set like this, you can see. It's just kind of doing like a quarter note pulse like this. Like it's like a very light side chain almost to the kick without actually side chaining it to the kick. Then the last thing we have on here is just a high pass filter cutting off the low end. And that is it for the lead. After that, we have the percussion, which is three things. We have some hi-hats and then a snare. So pretty simple, just all 909 sounds. Yeah, the 909, very popular with the style of techno. And yeah, and then I have those in a group together with just a bit of reverb to give them kind of like some atmosphere. Then we have the saturator, and you can see with this, I've got, yeah, the soft side and color mode, and we've got the bass frequency up. Yeah, making everything really crunchy. You can especially hear that in the snare. And then the last thing here is just an EQ8, which is just boosting the high end a little bit. And yeah, it's really not that complicated. Now, the final piece of the puzzle here with this style of tech now is the master processing or what effects you put everything into. Because, you know, with this style, it's not just really about like how it sounds or like what you're like, you know, oh, there's the rumble kick, there's the lead, there's the percussion. It's also about how it sounds together and like how everything's kind of crunching together and being processed together. So I have a bit of processing on the master. I'll turn all of this off and just show you kind of one by one what's happening here. Here's with nothing. And then with everything. So you can hear what these effects do for sort of like like it's like gluing everything together and making it all sound like it's kind of in the same sort of like lo-fi, crunchy, textured, distorted space. So the first thing here is the saturator. You can see we've got the drive up and then I've got the bass frequency on the analog clip turned up a bit here. Woo! Best voice crack of the whole video. Am I right? Um, anyway, so the analog clip here is really what this is like mostly being used for. Like if I turn this off, I'll just turn the color off. So yeah, you don't get that like crunch. Like you do when I turn the color on. That's what I'm trying to get. Like you're trying to make it sound like everything's going into the same distortion pedal or maybe just going into the same mixer that's crunching and overdriving or, you know, whatever it may be. But it's just giving everything like that really neat texture. And like it's all being crunched together. After that, we have an EQ8. So here's without this. And with that, you can hear this is really just needed to focus the track. What's happening with this is it's boosting the low end mostly. And then a little bit the high end and a little bit the mid range. So the low end boost is just to really make it like, you know, more bassy because you should be told, usually when you saturate everything like this, like we did with that saturator, it kind of gets rid of some of the bass. So I'm just boosting that. And then we're boosting the mid range and the high end to kind of bring out some sharpness and some punch in the mix. And then the last thing on here is a limiter. And the limiter is actually just to get the volume level up because. You can see we're almost there. And then this also pushes it a little bit because it's like, it's not just about getting it to hit zero dB. You know, I can put this up plus one and it would hit zero dB. But you know how much more full and loud it is? And if you compare the loudness of this to one of these raw tracks releases like I was talking about, you'll notice that like this, if I only turned it up plus one, it wouldn't be loud enough. But at this stage, it gives it the extra little bit of push it needs. And yeah, so that is me for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Let me know which video you want to see me do tomorrow. 
As usual, you can get the project file on samples and MIDI and presets. All of that from this video in the description. And if you're a patron, my patron, check there because it's already available. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you tomorrow with another video.